everyone. So we're going to go over my sales from Monday, May 22nd to Monday, May 28th. Um, we are going to uh, show you 10 of those items that sold. We sold a total of 25 items that week. I'm going to show you some of uh, the fantastic items that we sold and how much margin we made on those. And then I'm going to show you some of those that we only made a few dollars on. So um, it's always really good to go over your sales, break it down, look at the detail, so you can see what items are selling, uh, what items are selling faster, which items are selling quicker. So without further ado, let's just get started and jump right into those sales. The first item I have to show you is a vintage bedspread that we picked up at an estate sale. We have about $5 into this item. We had it on sale for $59.99. I finally got an offer for $39.99 and I took it. This item was listed for 273 days before it sold, so that is why we took that best offer. Uh, we made a gross margin of $32.82 on this item. This next item I have to show you is a 60 up balance board. We got this at an estate sale recently for $30, had it listed for $125, and we took a best offer of $85. It only took us seven days to sell this item, so it sold quite quickly and uh, with a gross profit margin of $61.65. So this next item I found sitting in a closet in my bathroom and uh, I was never going to use it. And so uh, we listed on, on eBay and we got full asking price of $89.99. I must have had a price just right because it sold within one day. Super exciting. So there wasn't really any cost in that. My costs were sunk in that item. And so I had a gross profit of $70.33. You never know what you're going to find in your closets. So this item came from a box of ink that I purchased for $10 at a yard sale. We had it on sale for 18 and we took a best offer of $15. We only had about $2 cost in this item. We got in that big box of ink. And so all in, we made $9.90 on this listing. Um, we did get full asking sale price on this item of $48. However, I did tank on this order. So I underestimated how much it was going to cost to ship this item. I only charged the customer $30 and it actually cost me $55, bringing down my gross profit to $6.73 on this item. So I had a whole box of these Princess House plates. There were three different sizes. I purchased the whole box for $10 at a garage sale quite a while ago, found this in my storage unit, got them listed, um, had them on sale for $76 and took a best offer of $70. So I have only about $5 into this item since I had it in that big box of Princess House plates. They were listed for 27 days and we made a gross profit of $62.18. This item was part of a uh, quilting kit that I bought. I bought a lot of these quilting kits from a gentleman at a state sale recently. I paid $10 for the whole basket of quilting kits. I had this one listed for $50 and I took a best offer of $30. So I figured I only had about $2 into this item. That's why I took that best offer. Um, it was only listed for four days before it sold and we had a gross profit of $22.74 just on this one single item from the basket. I purchased a whole box of these t-shirts. I think I got 22 of them in all. I only paid less than a dollar for each of those t-shirts. I think I paid $20 for the whole entire box. I hadn't sold any and so I was getting a little nervous. I had a watcher and so I sent out a best offer of $6 and they accepted. I still have 20 t-shirts to sell. So you can see I didn't make a great uh, margin on this item. It was $3.41. However, it is a listing with multiple quantities. So I am good if I make $3.41 on the rest of the 20. So it might take a while for them to sell, but I think this was still a good purchase. And it did tell, take me 53 days to sell the first one, but hopefully sometimes after a while, then it picks up into the algorithm and you start selling more and more of the t-shirts as eBay sees that there is a trend and that people are interested in this t-shirt. So we recently picked up a box of these uh, vintage uh, hard rock CDs at an estate sale. We paid $20 for the box. It came with a stereo as well, but the stereo was not worth any money. So we did donate that to Goodwill. We had it listed for $95 and we took a best offer of 75. The best part about this listing was it sold within two days and um, with a margin of $39 and a penny. So super excited about that when we can flip our item super fast and make that kind of a margin. So this was part of that quilting basket that I talked about earlier. I paid $10 for all these quilting kits. 
Um, this one had two full sets. We sold one at a best offer for $100. And the second set we sold best offer for $93. And look at how fast we sold these items. So we sold both of those kits within three days. So that was super exciting. So our order total for both of the kits, sets of kits was $244.07. I know this says $126.62. It's just for one of the kits, but we actually sold two. Um, all in, our cost of goods sold was $88.56 with a gross profit of $155.51 with only $4 into this listing. So th that goes out for a big cheer and um, we, we were super excited to find that. You just got to keep looking. Those bolos are out there. Trust me. If you keep looking, once you get the hang of it, you're going to find them. So here's my sales recap. My total sales were $1,151.94. Um, my total cost for sourcing items was only $90. Um, my selling costs are showing $448.09. That is a little higher than what you're seeing here on the eBay chart. And that is because I have added some, some shipping costs to some items that shipped after this week's sale. So then my gross profit margin is 46.7% with an average selling price of $46.08. We managed to sell 25 items last week. So we're picking up the pace and um, let's see where we go with this. Hey everyone, uh, if you've made it to this part of the video, then you've made it all the way through and I appreciate each and every one of you. We are trying to get these weekly uh, sales reports up every week and it's not just for you, it's for me so I can go over each and everything that I have sold and to see what items are making a profit, what items I should be on the lookout for and so hopefully this information will help you as well. Well, that's it for today. I hope you all are having a groovy day and we'll talk to you later.